Hey guys, so we all know that uh, LLMs basically hallucinate. That means uh, uh, if you ask any um, LLM large language model, uh, any recent update, a query about any recent update, what happened yesterday in New York City, uh, about any incident for that matter. So sometimes these LLM models uh, hallucinate. They answer, but the response or the answer will be a fake answer, made up answer, sometimes incorrect answer, uh, but they answer though. Uh, so this behavior of uh, large language models is known as um, hallucinating behavior. And uh, to mitigate this um, hallucinating behavior of large language models, uh, we have uh, three um, three uh, prominent approaches. One is um, prompt engineering, uh, the art and science of working with your prompts and seeing the outputs and modifying your uh, prompt query. And then comes the fine tuning where you take a base model and then you fine tune that base model with your custom data so that it starts understanding your uh, vocabulary, grammar, the words that you use in your um, work. Um, <clears throat> that best suits your um, um, uh, your company. Um, and the third one is retrieval augmented generation. Um, it's about uh, giving the large language model uh, um, an external uh, source, uh, context source data, so that the LLM model can go and fetch the proper information and respond back to the user. Uh, so that the responses generated are contextually relevant, all right? And uh, now the LMs are pretty advanced. They have all the access to the uh, tools and uh, web search and all. Uh, they can easily get the real-time data, but usually because these uh, LLMs are trained on a heavy, uh, a large amount of data sets, and uh, they usually have this uh, knowledge cutoff date, what we call. So because of that, they. Um, they sometimes uh, get confused in answering the user queries. That's how they come up with some fake answers for if, if they don't know something. Um, so that's about the LLM hallucinating behavior and how the three approaches uh, help us mitigate this. And in these three approaches, like fine tuning, prompt engineering, prompt engineering and retrieval augmented generation RAG. Uh, RAG is considered one of the prominent approaches uh, because of its uh, advantages over the other two. Uh, the other two, um, prompt engineering is okay, there is nothing much to do with, um, with the technology because you just need to work with your prompts. But whereas fine tuning involves a lot of resources, um, and then cost involved there. Um, and uh, uh, RAG is where you just give an external uh, source uh, to the LLMs to fetch the contextually relevant responses in the form of like you can attach a, um, a vector database where the all, where all the information is present or you can attach, uh, attach any source uh, where the LLM can easily go and fetch the uh, data. So um, uh, we have seen there are different AI frameworks today, uh, like uh, Langchain, Llama Index, uh, but uh, we have seen very less uh, uh, tutorials about Haystack. Haystack is also uh, an AI framework to help you build uh, LLM powered applications. Uh, so today uh, in this uh, video, we're gonna see how you can build retrieval augmented generation systems using Haystack. So now that we know RAG is considered one of the prominent approaches to mitigate LLM hallucinating behavior, uh, let's understand uh, the RAG pipeline. Um, so here is an image uh, of a RAG pipeline that consists basically three main components or stages you can say, retrieval, augmentation, and generation. Uh, the retrieval stage is the initial process of querying and fetching the relevant information from the knowledge base. It can be your vector database or anything. So that's how the retrieval works. The retrieval step works. Um, fetch uh, relevant documents and information, and then comes the augmentation stage where uh, the refinement and enhancement of the retrieval data happens. Right, you basically refine the retrieved uh, documents or the ma matching documents, right? Uh, combining different sources and uh, add extra context uh, uh, 
um, to the to the retrieved um, documents or the text chunk uh, and then the third uh, step is generation uh, where the final stage of uh, where the language model processes the augmented uh, information to create uh, the final answer or output to output back to the user. So these three components basically um, uh, form the uh, RAG pipeline. Uh, so let's understand how uh, we can create such a simple RAG pipeline uh, RAG system using Haystack. So Haystack is an open source framework to help you build production ready LLM powered applications. Um, as you can see in the image, uh, right? Um, you can basically build um, robust RAG applications um, using Haystack. And uh, Haystack is, by the way, by DeepSec. Uh, so let's see a simple tutorial of how we can build a simple uh, RAG pipeline using Haystack. So here is a step-by-step -step, uh, notebook code that shows you how you can build uh, simple RAG systems using Haystack. Uh, first thing is to install Haystack using pip install Haystack um, EI uh, and then we'll import the um, uh, pipeline and then the uh, um, predefined pipeline uh, and then uh, this particular thing uh, your lib request uh, URL retrieve downloads the file uh, we are basically downloading this uh, the davinci file and then um, it saves it uh, locally. So uh, this is how you can do that. You basically mention the uh, OpenAI API key here. Uh, we are using OpenAI uh, uh, Open model. And then uh, we are mentioning where the uh, where this uh, Davinci uh, txt file is present. And then we are uh, saving it locally in the uh, Davinci.txt. And then uh, uh, here a predefined indexing pipeline is created and uh, executed uh, like this um, and then um, you should you should see this output uh, right the prompt tokens uh, total tokens uh, text embedding uh, used uh, this is the model that we are using for uh, embeddings and uh, yeah i mean um, at the end we will initialize the rag pipeline uh, with a simple query so this is the rag pipeline um, and then the query is how old was he when he died? So we are talking about uh, the Da Vinci. And um, yeah, I mean, as you can see, once you run this, uh, we, you will get an answer response uh, back. Uh, Leonardo Da Vinci was born in uh, 1452 and died on May 2nd, 1519. Therefore, he was 66 years old at the time of his death. So uh, we basically retrieved a proper chunk for our query. Um, the query was how old, how old was he when he died uh, from this particular document that uh, we saved locally, right? Um, and uh, we got a proper contextually response uh, back uh, for our query so you can basically uh, try this out with your own document and uh, ask a query against your document and uh, see how uh, you can basically use his stack uh, to in your rag applications uh, i hope this was uh, helpful you can basically uh, do more advanced um, uh, tutorials learn more about his stack uh, going to the official um, his stack website uh, documentation and uh, yeah uh, thanks.